Hello techies, welcome back to our channel UiPath by Sujita. Uh, today we are going to learn the usage of an activity while uh, which can be used uh, during downloading uh, some files from the application. So there are times uh, where when you are automating a process uh, that to uh, using uh, UI specific applications maybe when you are do i mean downloading something from some files from the applications websites you may be uh, how you will be uh, instructing bot in order to wait until the download completes yes you may you may try using some delay options you may you may uh, use some file access right until the file is uh, get uh, downloaded until the file is available in the specific folder path you may instruct bot externally uh, in order to wait until the file is downloaded completely so there is a simple trick there's a simple uh, activity which is available in the studio itself just you are supposed to learn how to use this okay yeah quickly let us learn about this activity activity is wait for download okay there's an activity called wait for download so this this will do the work on behalf of you so no need to instruct explicitly uh, the board to wait for the uh, download and wait until the download completes rather you just need to drag and drop this activity at the right place okay so let's see how to use this Quickly open your uh, UiPath Studio and do this along with me. So for that, I uh, created a separate sequence. Wait for download. And now go to Activities panel. So this, this is uh, going to be from the application, right? So use application or browser activity. Just drag and drop here and indicate your application my application is going to be the google.com so what i'm going to do is i'm going to indicate this okay yeah after this i would like uh, to open or download the file from a, a url for that i'm going to give the url using type into activity inside this okay so indicating this so i am going to type the url here and so let us select the anchor as well just confirm it back fine and my url is going to be this i hope you are doing this along with me yeah so I'm going to download this file. Okay. Now let us see. After this, what I'm supposed to do after typing, I'm supposed to click enter, right? Don't worry, I'm coming to the right point, like where to use this activity. Okay. So let me add this inside the do block. Okay. So my shortcut is going to be the enter key. Okay. Now let's save this okay after this i'm using a log message saying download complete downloaded successfully you can use the file now okay and what i'm going to do I'm going to browse for the file. Okay, let us see how this works until here. So it's going to type the URL, whatever I gave. Okay. So the if, if you see here it has started okay it 
has started the download but if you go back to our code go to output panel it said or oh, downloaded successfully you can use the file now but when I go and see for the file it, it is still downloading which is wrong right this file is yet to be downloaded completely and it is not in so I, I mean we, we cannot use this right away okay until it gets downloaded completely fine now what we, we what you what we are supposed to do we are supposed to instruct bot to wait until this bomb download completes so that we can use this file right so this is the purpose of wait for download let us use it just stop the survey and then let me go back to this place let me delete this file for time being okay now Now let's see how can we instruct bot in order to wait until the download completes before moving on to the next activities. Okay. So just go to activities panel and type for wait for download. Fine. It is in the UiPath system dot activities package. So what it is doing, it detects a file download from any application and waits for the download to complete before any further processing of the file in the automation okay so this this is the ideal purpose right that's what we are discussing so far okay now when you drag and drop here see they, there are two blocks one is to drop the activities and the other is to give the proper uh, folder name uh, i mean uh, folder path downloaded uh, file file uh, information uh, path place and all okay these are the different options available in the wait for download activity let us see one by one drop activities here activity to initiate download not not all the activities but the actual activity which is uh, triggering the download to start okay so out of our uh, n number of activities here what is actually triggering the uh, download this one right when when you when when you type something when you type the url after that you are clicking enter which is actually starting the download so i'm just dragging and dropping this inside okay done i hope you are doing this along with me now by default it has considered the downloads path okay now now let us go to its properties if you see the properties there's an option called timeout okay just see this specify a time period in seconds for which to wait for the download to complete the default time in limit is 300 seconds beyond that if if any file is taking more than this time we are supposed to indicate increase the time here okay let us uh, learn about this later for now let us see how this is going to work just save this and run this file again So it has started the download okay let me okay fine so if you see the download being started and let's go back to our code go to output still it is executing right still it is executing it has not when it has not reached the next activity after this wait for download that means it is waiting to complete the download okay in order to execute the next activities it is waiting for 300 seconds by default 
okay let us see how it behaves still still it is waiting because it is checking whether the download been completed successfully or not instead of uh, immediately uh, processing the next activities okay that that's the uh, requirement right here so that's how it is behaving it is waiting until the download completes so that when when you are going to use the file for next uh, during next activities the file is ready it will not throw any exception saying the file not found or the folder uh, i mean uh, folder path doesn't exist all these kind of issues can be avoided using this activity i hope you are doing this along with me right yeah so still it is waiting so it's almost completed now let us see how it behaves yes it has completed this download is completed now if you see what is our next uh, activity one activity what we used is logging a message and the other activity is to browse the file right so automatically the uh, uh, window been opened okay to browse the file that's how it works okay until and unless the download completes it has not processed the next activity set of activities so that's the purpose of using this wait for download i hope you got the clear information and uh, if you are struggling to keep delays or time out uh, i mean time limit during this uh, particular requirement you can start utilizing wait for download activity from now on okay so let's meet through our next videos until then happy learning and happy automating bye bye